everyone, welcome back. If you are new, my name is Melissa. For those of you who are following me on Instagram, you voted and I heard you and today is what's in my bag. I'm so excited to do this. I haven't done one for about seven, six or seven months. And so I have really changed up what I'm doing. I'm excited to show you guys. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, I would love it if you would just jump over there really quick. The handle is down below in the comments. And just follow me over there. I feel like um, I can connect with you guys better over there. You can kind of see my day to day. Um, I always do real life on these videos. I will always bring you real life on these videos. I feel like it's a better way for you to get to know me um, outside of an edited video. And I just, I like interacting and talking and hearing from you guys that way. So if you're not already over there following me, I would love it if you would join that community. So like I said, today is what's in my bag. And it was so close. Um, that I'm actually going to do both videos this week. I was already going to do a planner setup, obviously, because I asked you what you would rather see first, and you guys said what's in my bag, but it was so close between the two that I decided just to do them in the same week. Um, that way everybody's happy. Because I know this video is probably going to be a little bit lengthy, I'm going to go ahead and set you guys up on the tripod and let's get at it. First of all, I want to focus on the outside of this bag. I absolutely love this bag. I love the color. I love the material, um, the leather that, you know, it's made with. Um, I love that it's a sturdy and not a slouchy bag. For me, um, I like a very structured bag. And what I mean by that is, when I sit it down somewhere, especially in the, the passenger seat where you put your purse when you're driving and all of that, it all doesn't just kind of pool in the seat and I'm not searching around for things. Um, and I guess that holds true when carrying it as well. I feel like a more structured bag kind of holds the shape of everything else in it and it doesn't all just kind of end up in a big pool at the bottom of the bag. So for me, kind of a sturdier leather structured bag works better. Now, you know, that's not everybody's gig and that's great. That's why the world works the way that it does is because, you know, we're different. We have different needs. We're in different seasons of life. My mom, for instance, would never ever carry a bag of this size in this season of her life. And that's great because in the season of life that I'm in right now, I could never carry the small bag that she carries. So, you know, obviously with this video, you have to adapt it to where you are right now. What's gonna work for you? What can you take from this video that you know, would benefit you, would help you, and the rest of it, just leave it. You know, you don't need to take everything from this video and apply it to your life. Um, it's just suggestions, it's what works for me. And, you know, I don't take everything that I see and, and try to apply it. You have to make life work for you because that's how life becomes less messy, is if you take what you have, and just work with that. So, I'll stop rambling. But on the outside of the bag, you will find here that it has the, the little logo, the Michael Kors, um, and it's just attached under here with just that little um, gold hardware. These right here, you can lengthen or shorten. Um, there's only one more hole on this so it doesn't shorten anymore but you can make it just one notch longer if need be on the back it's the same thing if you need to shorten or lengthen you know obviously all the way around it's got a nice sturdy strap it has the double strap obviously which i really like i have found that I'm just not someone who can do the one the one strap. I do like 
the way that the double strap feels um, on my shoulder and I like to be able to open it and close it um, this way. So for me, this, this works. Then probably my most favorite uh, feature of this bag is that it zips. For those of you who have watched my previous What's in My Bag video, you know that the bag that I had was kind of similar to this as far as size, I guess even color, but it did not have a zipper. And um, I guess for me it was more a matter of not being able to you know, find a bag that was the size that I needed it to be um, that zipped. And so because the size of the bag outweighed me being able to zip it, I just, you know, obviously chose that bag. But I am so happy that I have found this bag. It's the perfect size for me and it has a zipper. And I know that a lot of you will um, be happy with that because a lot of you did share your concerns with me, um, you know, in regards to the fact that this bag that I was previously using did not zip. So here it is. Oh, I love that sound. Inside my bag, this is what you will find. Um, for those of you who are wondering and thinking back, this bag does not have the purse organizer that my previous bag had. And it's not because I don't like it. I just chose to purchase a bag that already has a built-in purse organizer. So inside here you will find I have compartments on each side, um, there and here. I have a little flap right here. I've got a zipper right here. I have another um, zipper right here as well. And so for me, that is kind of a two for one. Um, I can have my purse and not have to have something inserted in. And the other thing that I will say about a purse organizer is I felt like it kind of kept my purse a little bit more boxy than maybe I wanted it to be. Um, just because on the bottom it, it has that kind of hard rectangular cardboard. And so on the sides of my purse, I did notice that at the bottom and the top part right here where the purse organizer came up to, it was kind of poking out into the fabric of my purse and making little indentions. And so I didn't want that, which you know, also set me on a hunt to find something that was like this, that was an organized space, but not a place that I had to insert something in to make it organized, if that makes any sense. So let's start on this side. Right here you will see this little compartment is what holds my uh, phone. And I just have my, um, pop socket here that I purchased from Target and I will link the things that I can down below in case you are interested. So this pop socket is from Target. It's just kind of a really pretty shiny gold. Um, just kind of reminds me of fall. My family makes fun of me all the time because I coordinate my iPhone cases. Um, I don't know why I said iPhone. I could have just said phone. But um, I coordinate my cases to whatever season we're going through. So obviously fall, kind of browns, blacks, golds, voila. So here is my case. That fits right in this little pocket right here. And then down in front of that pocket, you will see there is another little pocket right under this one. And that is where I have my um, Young Living, my Thieves uh, hand sanitizer. And so that just slips right there into that pocket. And then over in the middle, I have got some chapstick right here that just slips right down into that little compartment. And then up above, I have a lip gloss. 
This is very similar to the um, purse organizer, but like I said before, it's already built into the bag. It's not a separate unit. Then in this compartment, um, I just have a little card holder. So what I do is I make family business cards. And let me cover up this. So what I do is um, I just make a normal business card, you know, on PicMonkey and then I link it over to uh, Vistaprint and I just print it out. So what I have here is just our family name and then um, everybody's name down below. And then under that I have our address and both my cell phone number as well as my husband's cell phone number. And then over here I just put, you know, a little wreath or, or whatever. And so I print those out and then on the back, um, I have not done it on these yet, but I will write my email address on, on the back of the card. And I just find this so handy when, um, especially for us, we are new this year to the school and to the community. And so I feel like I'm giving my name and number to a lot of people. And instead of having to do the whole, do you have a pen? Let me find a pen. Do you have something I can write on? All of that kind of stuff. Um, I can just hand them this card and be done. And it's super easy, super simple, super cheap. I got, um, I think it was like 150 cards for, oh my word, it was like $6.99 or something like that because it was, you know, they always have coupons and deals and all that. So um, that goes right here. In the front here, um, again, a little compartment right in front of this one is where I keep my gum. And then this is just a um, to-do list, what I need to get and return and all that kind of stuff. So I just slip that right in there. And then here is my planner. And I do not always carry this with me um, just because I don't need it all the time. I, I keep a backup on my phone. Don't get me wrong, I am very much a pen and paper gal, but I keep it on my phone so that I can have access to it when I'm out and about and not have to carry this. Because honestly, this is heavy. And so um, what I do is I take this with me if I absolutely need to, which is hardly ever. Otherwise, this baby stays at home. But what I wanted to put it in here for was so that you could actually see that it would fit if you are someone who likes to have that with you all the time or needs to have that with you all the time. There is plenty of space in there. So for those of you that you know do not want it in there, then this whole area is empty and you could even switch things around from side to side if you, know, you chose to and, and didn't need that side um, full with with your binder so i keep this in there if i absolutely have to but generally no so i'm going to go ahead and take it out that way you can get an idea of kind of how i have this set up and i'm going to move these things around so that you can see exactly how i keep this set up on a daily basis so here we go, back on track. So now this is the version for someone who does not need to carry the planner in their bag um, at all times. Lastly, up here on this side is my um, pencil and pen holder. And I just found this on Amazon. Um, it just matches everything else because I like that. That's kind of how, how I flow. Um, I like things to kind of coordinate together, but it's just kind of a faux leather. Um, I guess you could call this vintage. If I remember right, it might even be in the description as vintage. So I have some Aquaphor in here that um, I actually used when I was planning in my calendar. 
um, last night, so that's there. I've got a pen just for my kids to write with, um, some pencils. I don't really use pencils, but my kids like to draw a lot, like at church, and um, just if we're waiting places for whatever reason. So I've got some pencils. I've got another pen for them to write with. A highlighter this is actually for my planner but I keep it in here because this is what I um, mark things off with I have a sharpie if I need to ship something and um, need to like write an address on the outside of an envelope then I've got that there and then lastly I have uh, two pens in here for me to use. These are the friction clickers. I swear by these. They were in my last planner video. Um, they are the erasable pens and I have black and blue. So I just keep all of that in here and it zips up nice and just kind of tucks away right here in the corner of the bag. So it's not really out and about amongst um, the other things that I use on a daily basis. So right here I have a Calvin Klein bag that I just purchased from TJ Maxx. Um, I'm not gonna link it down below because I have had this for quite some time, but if you've ever been in a TJ Maxx, you've seen that they have tons and tons of makeup bags, organizers, things like that. You're always able to find one. So in the front of this bag, I have some um, chargers. So I've got my iPhone charger or iPad. I've got these headphones only for backup because quite honestly, they hurt my ears. And then I have three little adapters to um, you know, go on a plug-in that may not be iPhone or iPad accessible. So those go in there. And then on the inside of this bag, I have a tape measure because you always need one of these, it seems like at least I do. I, sh I shouldn't say you always do, but for me, I need one of these a lot. I have got my scan disc um, for different things that you know I make and need to print off and, and all of that. I've got a charger here um, in case I just ever need to plug in. And I'm just realizing as I'm going through this that I never took out my car charger, um, the adapter for that. I usually carry one of these in here as well, but I took it out when I was traveling and put it in my backpack. And so I need to put that back in when I'm done here. This is just a bottle of coconut oil. I've got my um, iPhone headphones in here. I love these things. They are amazing. Um, they work so well. They stay charged for. And then inside here, I've got my doTERRA carrying case. And I have um, some concoctions that I made myself. Uh, happy Place. Changing seasons. This one's for allergy. This one's for just kind of all around calm. And then um, this one right here is for cuts and scrapes. And this one is immune support. Then on this side, time for bed, uh, on guard, breathe, and balance. And that just zips up just like that. And so that is what I carry in this. Um, pouch right here. So that is it for that. I go ahead and stick that right down there. 
Then there's this little compartment that is actually attached to um, the zipper part right here. For me, I do not carry anything in this zipper other than this little pouch right here. Um, what this is, is just a little zipper bag. And what I use it for, especially throughout this time of year, is for receipts. Um, you know, you're starting to think about Christmas presents and, and all of that. Uh, for me, I try to be done Christmas shopping by December 1st, um, usually way before, God willing. But um, so for me, I'm starting to collect a lot of receipts right now. And so what I do is I just keep this in my bag and I like that it zips because then I don't have to worry about things falling out or, you know, how it goes. And I just throw that in there and then I can zip it closed, throw it in this little area. It's kind of away from everything else. And, you know, even if I don't have time to stick it in there and um, put it back in the middle while I'm in line, this at least zips as well. And so I can just throw my receipt right here in this part, zip it up. And when I get to the car, I can unzip it, take the receipt, put it in the, um, bag blah blah you get the drill so it just makes it really handy for me that way i can keep all my receipts together and and all of that but on the front part of that um little zipper area and i'll show you this in my next video this week um, it will be coming out because it's part of my my planning routine this is what i carry with me when i don't have my planner which like i said is pretty much all the time and I'm not gonna go into it because you'll see it in my next video, but this right here goes in here. And this is my brain for the most part, uh, outside of my planner. The other thing that I like about this bag is that it has, um, I don't know what this is called. Somebody comment down below and tell me what this is called. I always wanna call it a lanyard, but I kinda don't think that that's what it is but it's just attached to your bag right there. And it, um, you can attach and untach. So, you know, if you have keys that you wanna attach there so that they don't end up at the bottom of your bag, you can just clip this on the key ring and throw that down there and they're always on this. So you're not digging and whatever, you just need to find obviously the strap and pull them out like that. For me, I attach them to this little bag. And with my new vehicle, I don't have to have my keys out every time I unlock my car. It just automatically senses um, the key fob and opens. But I like to keep it in this little compartment. That way it's not clanging around in my bag. The keys aren't scratching, you know, for instance, glasses that I may throw in here. Um, that aren't you know in the little pouch and get scratched and you know and so i like to have my keys in this little um pouch right here so i have my key fob and for those of you that know me this will not surprise you for those of you that don't you will think i'm a total weirdo and that's okay but on the back of my key fob i have one of these little bumper pads and the reasoning is because I don't want these keys scratching my key fob. See, I told you, you've already made an opinion. Some of you are laughing, some of you are cheering, whoever you are, whatever you're thinking, it's okay. But I put that on the back here because I don't want these keys clanging up against this and scratching um, my key fob. And so by putting that there, it's just a buffer for those keys to not scratch the back. So I have this, I have um, my parents' house key and my house key on this side. And then in this little compartment right here is my tile. If you do not know about tile, I would highly suggest that you Google search that. They are amazing. Um, if you are someone who has a hard time keeping track of your keys, or you can put it on anything. Um, I'm not generally one that has a hard time keeping track of my keys, especially now with this, but 
it seems like the time that you are that person that has a hard time is always the most inconvenient time ever. And so that is really handy. So I have that um, in, in this little compartment. I love it because it matches my bag and it's just a really nice, soft, um, fake leather material. Next is my wallet. This is just a uh, Michael Kors wallet. I've had this for, oh my gracious, I wanna say like six, seven, eight years. I love this. It's just that really vintage, rustic, worn leather. Um, and it just gets more and more that way over the years. I, I love it. Um, not really anything exciting in here. Uh, it's got a place for money. Uh, inside here, which I don't use, um, is a place for coins. I do have a couple in there, but that's very rare. I've got a couple sticks of gum just in case. Um, it's more so for hiding um, because people get into my purse and chew my gum and then I go to get some and it's like, oh, well, you know, the person that purchased it never gets to chew it. So anyway, um, and then just a Kohl's receipt, not receipt, but um, coupon, whatever, and then a Macy's promotional coupon, which I kind of don't even remember how I got that. And that's all I have in there. And then in this bag is where I keep all of my um, like toiletries and things like that. Again, this bag came from TJ Maxx, so I'm not gonna link it down below. You can always find bags that match you know, the bag that you're carrying, if you're somebody that likes to match or, you know, just any bag in general. Now inside here, I don't just throw everything in all together. Again, structure. That's, I, I'm somebody that has to have structure. So I like to know exactly where things go, where they belong. In this bag, I have um, obviously a couple tampons. I have some poopery. Uh, these are travel, um, perfume bottles. I will link them down below and I try to carry with me what I am wearing for that season. That way I can, you know, kind of respray throughout the day if need be. Uh, in this little one right here, it's the uh, Victor Rolf Flower Balm, which is an amazing fall scent. Uh, this one right here is Yves Saint Laurent uh, Black Opium. And in this one, is Mac uh, Velvet Teddy. And these three are, I have one other one that I'm wearing. It's Mac's um, Creme, Creme de Nude, or however you say that. I'm from Nebraska, friends. I have no idea how to speak French, if that's even what it is. I'm guessing it is. So uh, that's what I am wearing this fall. And I'll do a video um, with my favorites that will have all of those in it. But anyway, I carry all of the ones that I'm wearing in that season and this season is fall and so I'm carrying fall scents. So I keep those in this bag. And then I have some uh, Egyptian magic, which um, is just kind of an all purpose uh, skin cream. I put it on my lips, it's amazing. Again, friends, nothing has changed. I still, I still cannot take um, swallow pills unless you know my life is depending on it. So I have some chewable children's Tylenol. I have a packet of True Lemon um, for you know when I'm out and about and don't want normal water. I can just throw this in there. I have some sweetener because I don't like you know, regular sugar and whatnot. I like the, the pure stevia or the Truvia. And so I carry these along with me. They're just in a folded up um, little snack sized baggie. This right here is just a little container that I found at Walmart, I believe in like their lunch section. And it's actually for condiments, but I feel like it's a perfect size to put here in my bag. And this is carrying the um, Gold Bond uh, hand repair lotion or hand something, I'll link it down below. But it's just such a smaller case to carry it in than you know those huge tubes that they come in. 
Um, I don't want to put that in here because it's going to be bulky. It's going to make my bag heavier, all of that. So I stick that in here. And then in this little bag, I have toothbrush and toothpaste. I've got some eye drops, some teeth flossers, uh, just regular floss, a couple band-aids, and kind of hard to see, but right here, some tweezers. And so all of that is in here. I'm not having to dig around, gouge myself with the tweezers, trying to find something. It's just all right there. And then last but not least, um, this lipstick by MAC, it is the Anita. Just a really pretty fall color. You can see what it looks like against my pale hand. And I like the lid because it's magnetic and it just pops right on there. So I am carrying that. So all of this just slips right back in here and all of my toiletries are right where I can get to them easily, but they're not, you know, at the bottom of my bag in one big giant pool. And that works for me. And then on this side of the bag, you will see um, that it has compartments as well. And in this little container right here, let me see if I can, there we go. Uh, not container rather, in this little pouch, I keep my um, coin purse. And this is the same one that was in my previous video. I just have a little bit of change in there. I try not to carry a ton because it's heavy. But um, I like this little, this little pouch because it's nice and thin, it's not bulky, and it will fit right there in that little compartment just perfectly. And then I do not carry, um, eyeglass cases. I feel like they are extremely bulky in my purse. Um, a lot of them add weight. I mean, it's not, it's not five pounds, but you know, it is a little bit of weight. And so whatever I can, you know, disregard, uh, weight wise, the better. So I found these on Amazon. They're just really nice microfiber bags. Uh, I love the color and it can also sub as a eyeglass cleaner. Now it also comes with an eyeglass cleaner. If I can get down there to get it. But it just comes with this little rag inside. You can clean your glasses. But if you don't have this, then you can clean it with this as well, if need be. I just always keep this in the bottom. That way it's there when I need it. Um, I know you're going to ask. These are my sunglasses, obviously, and they are uh, Kate Spade. Um, Hello, I don't know if that's it. I'll have to look. This says Hello Sunshine right here, but I don't know if that's the name of the glasses. So I will find them and link them down below if I can. Uh, I found them at an outlet in Orlando when we were there a few weeks ago. And so I don't know if that's like a discontinued thing or something that they even sell, but I will try to find them. But I liked, you know, how they kind of come up on the side. You can see that there, um, kind of like a cat eye effect, I guess. So these are my fall shades. And then this just fits right here in this little compartment on the side. And then in the zipper pouch right here on the side, sorry, I'm trying to make this so that you can actually see. There we go. Uh, the only thing that I carry right here in this little zipper pouch is some wipes. I do not carry the whole container or even the ones that you can find, you know, that are smaller in size. I just take a few out, put them in a Ziploc baggie and call it a day. I am not in that season of life where I need 50 at a time. Um, my kids still do, you know, get dirty, make messes, whatever, but this suits us. And as I go through them, I just refill them when I get home. 
So there you have it, friends. This is my bag. I love it, love it, love it. I love how it's organized. I love how um, it is able to stay organized without me having to, you know, put something in, take something out. Not that that's a bad thing. I have had an insert before and I loved it. But for me, this just works because it's one less thing that, you know, I have to. No, I don't want to say worry about because I'm not worrying about it. It's just one thing, one less thing that I have to deal with. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I loved doing the video. Um, I just love watching what people have in their bags. I don't know why my husband thinks that that is so weird, but I I love it. I don't I don't know. Just my personality, I guess. So I hope that you guys were able to find something that you can implement into your lifestyle that may make it easier, may just make it more fun, who knows. Um, but I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching. We are at about 4,500 subscribers and friends, my mind is um, grateful. And um, I never, I never expected to get to this point. Um, my whole goal for the entire year was to get 4,000 subscribers. And you guys have shared my videos, you have commented, and I am so grateful because, you know, I got to this point when I was even in transition and not producing videos for you, and you, you know, stuck with me, and I just, I'm grateful. I just want to say thank you. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know that this is the type of content that you enjoy watching. If you feel like there's somebody in your life that would benefit from this video, then please share it with them. And like I said before, if you're not already following on Instagram, hop on over there really quick. The link is down below and follow me over there so that you can see what I do on a daily basis and just interact with me. So until next time, friends, I just wanna encourage you to create a life that you absolutely love living and won't need a vacation from. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Call it a day.